Now, China is offering free trips to Tibet. It is not a promotional tour, but a propaganda trip. From ambassadors to journalists, China is hand-picking people and chaperoning them around Tibet. These trips have definitely not made their way to Instagram. How then are they turning out? Our next report finds out. In the month of August, China held a meeting on Tibet, the seventh Tibet Work Forum. It was chaired by Chinese President Xi Jinping. He laid out a strategy to sinicize Tibet, make it more Chinese. The plan included moving more Han Chinese to Tibet, teaching Chinese history, establishing a quote-unquote correct view of China. It is safe to say the meeting and its minutes were lashed globally. What did China do next? An attempt at damage control. It embarked on a journey to change the global image or the Chinese occupation of Tibet. Between the 7th and the 11th of September, China took the Swiss ambassador on a guided tour of Tibet. Why did it pick a Swiss official? Because Switzerland is viewed as a neutral country, and it has a strong say in Europe. So China took a long shot in trying to impress Switzerland. Cut to October. China took the Canadian ambassador to Tibet. Why Canada? Because if you remember, two Canadians are jailed in China. So Beijing has a power play here. Too bad these propaganda visits were not successful. Neither of the ambassadors have said much publicly since returning from Tibet. Their silence ruined the game for China. To make matters worse, a group of journalists who were chaperoned around Tibet have written rather nasty words about the Chinese government. Reuters noted, government officials in both Beijing and Tibet vetted the reporters from media organizations who were invited to join the trip. On the closely supervised tour, there was little opportunity to interact with ordinary Tibetans without government officials in attendance. In one Tibetan village, media crews saw signs that read, thank the party, listen to the party, follow the party. The reporters were allowed to speak to a 41-year-old Tibetan. The man said that he was so busy with work that he has forgotten Buddhism. I needed to work in order to give my family a better life, so I went to work. That's why I don't have time to practice these religious activities. I can't say I've completely left Buddhism. I forget it when I'm busy with work. China can lie, tutor and blackmail all at once. No one is falling for its propaganda. Bureau Report, we on. World is one. Thank you for watching Gravitas on Vion's YouTube channel. If you want to stay up to date with what's happening around the world, then subscribe to our channel and don't forget to like and share. Thank you very much for watching. We on. World is one.